Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to create a modern table that you can use in your interior designs. Start by clicking on the Shapes tab. Then, create a rectangle anywhere. Now, with the rectangle selected, go to the Modify panel. Then change its length and width. These will be the dimensions of your table, so choose according to your requirement. Here are my values that you can use. So we now have a rectangle. With it selected, drag the animation slider to 100. Then press on the Auto key button. Now decrease the length and width of the rectangle, like I'm doing here. Once that is done, turn on the Angle Snap toggle. Now select the Rotate tool. And with the Auto key still checked, rotate the object by negative 40 degrees like this. After this, make sure to turn off the Auto key. We now have a small animation that we will use later to create our table. If we play this animation, it might not be very clear due to the low frame rate of my screen recorder, but the animation tend to slow down at the end, meaning that the rectangle starts rotating at a normal speed in the start. But when the slider reaches near the end, its rotation slows down significantly, which is not what we want. To fix this problem, first right-click on the last keyframe. A list will appear. At the top, it will show different variables that are being changed in this animation. Click on the first variable. A small window will open. For a smooth animation, we need to change the in and out curve that are being shown here. To do that, hold down left mouse button on the first curve. A list of different curves will open. Here choose the second one. Now press on these four arrows to copy changes to other keyframes as well. After that, simply hit close. You need to do this for all the other variables as well. If we play the animation now, you will see that it plays like how it should. Now, with the rectangle selected, in the Modify panel, click on the Rendering Rollout. First, Check the Enable and Renderer and Enable and Viewport option. Now, click on the Rectangle Radio button just below. Here, change the length to 3 and leave the rest of the options as they are. Now open the Modifier list and apply an Edit Poly modifier. Select the Polygon Selection tool and delete all of the polygons on the inside of the rectangle, like I am doing here. You will now have only four polygons left, similar to what I have here. Now go to the Tools menu and click on Snapshot. In the Snapshot dialog box, first check the Range option and in the Number of Copies, write 12 for now. Once you click OK, it will create 12 copies based on the animation that we did earlier. Aside from the 12 copies, the original rectangle will also be visible as you can see. You can choose to either hide or delete it, as we don't need it anymore. Now select all of the copies. Go to the Modify panel. In the Modifier list. Add a Shell modifier. Change the outer amount based on the desired level of thickness. Make sure that the rectangles do not intersect each other. Once this is done, use the Transform and Rotation tool to make these two points contact a single flat plane. We now have the base of our table. Now let's quickly create the glass top. I am simply going to create another rectangle for that.
First set the length and width. Then add an edit spline modifier. Then select the four corner points. And in the geometry rollout, increase the fillet amount by a tiny bit. Lastly, I will apply an extrude modifier to create the shape. Now all that is left to do is position it on top of the table base. We are done. I do hope you have found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more straightforward tutorial like these. Thank you for watching.